Hello class. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Hope that you are fine and healthy in your way. Today we're going to continue our lessons in Unit 5, page 42. We are still talking about famous people. Can you please tell me who did we study about last week? Can you post something about our Telegram post? What famous people did we study about last week? If you have said Angelina Jolie, you are correct. Remember the article we, talk, we read about her? And also I want to thank you for submitting me your homework for last week. Okay, for today's lesson, we will talk about President Barack Obama. President Barack Obama. How many of you have heard of him or known him or read about him? Anybody? You can post something up on our Telegram post saying, yes, I have. This is a picture of Barack Obama. I will post this up on our Telegram post so you can have a better viewing. He was the 44th president of the United States. What is a president, you might ask? Can someone explain to me what a president is and what is his title? And what is, why is his role so important for America? Okay, as we know, this president is the president for the United States of America. So we are talking about president for America. So let's post something up on our Telegram post. What is the role of a president and what is his title and what does he do? And some of your words in, in uh, wrote down in words to know scholarships and loans. You will find these words in your reading on page 42. Can you turn to page 42, please? In page 42, have a brief history about Obama, President Obama. It tells you about his family and where he went to school. It is just a brief and short story about Mr. Obama. And you will find out he have a family, he have a wife and a few children. And you will learn more in his reading and through answering my questions on this text. Okay, let's go over the words to know. The word president, I want you to write what presidents mean and what is the role of a president. And my second word is scholarship. What is a scholarship? Can someone post something up about scholarship and what does it mean? And our last word is loan. What is a loan? I will give you an example of a loan. Okay, me, I'm probably short on money and I need to buy a car. And I don't have enough money, so I will go to the bank to ask for a loan. So in saying that, what does loan mean? Is loan the same thing as borrowing money? Yes or no? If you say yes, you are correct. Loan is borrowing money. Like I'm asking the bank for money so I can go purchase a product. Or just say, for instance, another example. If I'm at school and I don't have enough money to buy some food, and I go ask another teacher or a friend to give me a loan so I can get the money to go buy food, and I will pay the loan back in the future. So a loan is something you borrow, especially money. Loan is borrowing money from a bank or a friend or someone you know. Okay, the word scholarships. Scholarships. What does that mean? Post something up on our Telegram post explaining the meanings. But I will explain it to you or give you an example now. A scholarship is something that you have earned from school so they can pay you to go to a higher education. Let me say that again. A scholarship is an investment or a loan that a school gives you for your college or your higher education. For example, if you graduated or finished the Camp Top International School, I have a school here, and you want to go study at a university, if you finish the top of your class, meaning if you finish number one, the school, Camp Top, will give you a scholarship to go to the university. So the scholarship will cover all your fee 
for the school so you do not have to pay no money for the university so a scholarship will pay for all your education in college that is a scholarship it pays for your education if you have graduated from a smaller school into a bigger school a scholarship can come from a school can come from a bank or it can come from a community because it will help you out anything that will help you for higher education will help you for college will help you for universities and our first word president president is someone that's in charge of a corporation of a country or a school but what we are talking about in our subject today is the president of the United States of America meaning he is the chief or commander-in-chief in other words is another word for president where he runs the country where he sets the tone he does not he does not make laws but he suggests laws and can suggest a lot of things to help run the country a president is very important for the American people because he set the tone and the mood of the countries he represent the country to other nations like Cambodia, China, or European. So he is the main spokesperson for America. So a president is very important. And what we talk about today is Barack Obama. And through your video, you will understand he is the 44th president of the United States. So he is number 44. Okay, after our work here, I want you to do the first task for today's lessons. The first task is I want you to read page 42, this page here, and record your voice and post it on our Telegram post. Okay, read it and record your voice on our Telegram post. That is number one. And number two, the assignment number two, I will post it on our Telegram post so you will have to answer some questions. I have an example here. This is assignment number two. I will post this on our Telegram post for you to do also. Again, you will have 40 minutes to complete task one, your reading and your assignments. Once you complete the reading and the assignments, you can send the assignment to my personal Telegram so I can correct it and give you back your score. Again, you will have 40 minutes. Okay class, until we see each other again on our next video, please send in your work. Hello class, welcome back to the second video for our lessons. Today we talked about famous people entitled President Barack Obama. Thank you for submitting your work, your first task on who he is and what a president is. So can I ask you a question class? The word president, why don't we have a president in Cambodia? Can you answer me that? Why is there no president in Cambodia? And what is the same or something that's equal to as a president in the United States? And what is the title for that in Cambodia? Can you answer me that? Post something up on our Telegram post, explain to me what is equal to a president in other countries. For example, some countries do not have president. They have prime ministers, king, queen, or a parliament rulers that run the countries. So, for example, our example, Cambodia have a prime minister, right? Yes, who is the prime minister of Cambodia? Can you tell me? He put the thing up on our uh, Telegram post, who is the prime minister of Cambodia? And it's his title equal to a president of the United States. And if so, do we have the same authority as a president in the United States? Yes? No? Post the thing up. As for living in Cambodia a while now, as I can say, the Prime Minister of Cambodia have the same power, or maybe even more, of a president, right? The reason why there is no president in Cambodia is because there is a monarch that runs Cambodia. What is a monarch, you might ask? A monarch is a king or a queen. So our country has a king and a queen, right? Yes. And under a king and a queen, there can be no president. There is only the prime minister, like 
many other nations in this world that have kings and queens. For example, like Japan. Japan does not have a president, right? Because Japan has a king and a queen that sits on the throne, that、uh, runs and rules Japan. But just like Cambodia, Japan also has a prime minister. And the prime minister h a v e the same power as the prime minister here in Cambodia and as the president of the United States. Now, can you name me some other countries that don't have a president? So you can post something up on our Telegram post. Or put something up on my personal Telegram post on which country that d o n t have a president, which country has a king, a queen, or which country has a prime minister. Thank you for submitting your works and I hope you answered some of my questions. Okay, now on to our second task for this、uh, video, this lesson. On your second task, after you have read about President Barack Obama, after you have read page 42, I want you to answer the questions on the bottom of page 42. There are six questions on the bottom, and you can find all the answers in your reading and in our dialogue, in our talking right now. You will be given 30 minutes to complete this task. Once you complete this task, please send it to my personal telegram so I can correct it and give you back your score. Okay, class, till we see each other again on the next video. Hello, class. Welcome back to our third and final video for today's lessons. Thank you for reading your, reading your books and your tasks for our first exercise and also doing your work on your second exercise. Thank you for sending it to me, and you have done a very great job. I have seen that you have understand what a president is and what his or, his or her role is. And also, I have seen that you know that a prime minister of Cambodia or a prime minister of any other country is equal to the president of the United States. And you are also showing that a lot of different countries in this world don't have a prime minister, don't even have a president. They have a king and a queen that is called a monarch or a monarchy. Thank you for also submitting to me that answer and learning with me on that page and exercises. Now, on to our homework. Your homework will be posted after the video is played. So, do not tell me that you have finished watching the video in one minute and ask me for your homework. Please watch this whole video, and when this video ends, I will post to you your homework. This is your homework. So, I will post this up on our Telegram post for you to do. You will be given one week to finish this exercise. When you are finished, please post it up on my personal Telegram post so I can correct it and give you back your score. Okay, class, this is, it. This is the end of our exercise today. Till the next time we meet, be safe, stay healthy, and goodbye, class.